the black swan and the white swan. And obviously, as sisters that close in age, there's always going to be competition. Being in quarantine with my family, I felt like I was a 16-year-old middle child again. Any middle children know how it feels to be a middle child. Everybody hates me. No one likes me. I'm the black sheep. Bella Hadid reveals why she doesn't trust Yolanda anymore. Did Bella Hadid just reveal that she's cutting Yolanda off completely? Bella's relationship with her mom, Yolanda, has been nothing short of toxic because Yolanda has been accused of treating Bella horribly as a kid and a teenager. And according to several sources, the treatment still hasn't changed, even though Bella is a full-grown adult. Well, reports have it that Bella is over her mom's toxicity and now distrusts her completely. So does this mean that Bella never wants anything to do with Yolanda forever? What exactly did Yolanda do to make Bella so upset? And whose side is Gigi taking in this drama? The Hadid family has gotten a lot of press the last few years, and unfortunately, it hasn't always been positive, especially when it comes to Yolanda Hadid. It turns out that the relationship between Bella and Yolanda is not exactly great. And according to insiders, it's because Bella is slow slowly starting to break free from Yolanda's control, and she no longer trusts her mother. Fans have pointed out for years that there was a huge difference in the way that Yolanda treated Gigi and the way she treated Bella. People pointed out that Yolanda had made it obvious that Gigi was her favorite child. Sometimes it was the really small and subtle things, like how Yolanda preferred to sit beside Gigi and not Bella, and would often switch seats just so that she could sit beside Gigi. You sit next to Omar, I'm gonna sit next to Gigi. There's also the fact that Yolanda started building up Gigi's modeling career when Gigi was only three years old, and she was able to secure multiple modeling contracts for Gigi. But she didn't do the same for Bella. And people have pointed out that Yolanda never seemed as invested in the early days of Bella's modeling career as she was when Gigi first started. That's not all, because Yolanda also used to compare Gigi to Bella, and it was never in Bella's favor. Just like the time Yolanda referred to Bella as the black swan and Gigi as the white swan. Black swan and the white swan and obviously as sisters that close in age there's always going to be competition. Well, from what Bella has said in the interviews, things eventually got to her because she started feeling like the ugly sister. In an interview with Vogue, Bella admitted that her childhood was similar to the stereotypical childhood of a middle child, adding that she felt that everybody hated her. Being in quarantine with my family, I felt like I was a 16-year-old middle child again. Any middle children know how it feels to be a middle child. Everybody hates me, no one likes me, I'm the black sheep. Several people pointed out how crazy it was that Bella still felt that way even though she was way past her teenage years. People were quick to point fingers at Yolanda for treating Bella so unfairly that she felt out of place in her own family. Bella opened up more about being made to feel like the ugly sister in an explosive interview with Vogue magazine in March 2022. She said, I was the uglier sister. I was the brunette. I wasn't as cool as Gigi, not as outgoing. That's really what people said about me. And unfortunately, when you get told things so many times, you just believe it. I always ask myself, how did a girl with incredible insecurities, anxiety, depression, body image issues, and eating issues, who hates to be touched, who has intense social anxiety. What am I doing getting into this business? She didn't directly point fingers at Yolanda for being the one who made her feel this way, but by going on what she said on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, people quickly put two and two together and realized that it was more likely that Yolanda was behind this. There have also been speculations that Yolanda used to talk about Bella's body in an unflattering way, and this is why Bella started having struggles with food, which eventually eventually led to her developing an ED. Bella also opened up about her ED in a Vogue interview, saying, I was on this calorie counting app, which was like the devil to me. I'd pack my little lunch with my three raspberries, my celery stick. I was just trying, I realize now, to feel in control of myself when I felt so out of control of everything else. I can barely look in the mirror to this day because of that period in my life. We know that Yolanda used to encourage Gigi to eat as little as possible, like the time when she asked her to eat an almond, even though she was weak with hunger. I'm feeling really weak. I have a couple of almonds. Chew them really well because your your stomach is not. So if Yolanda encouraged Gigi to starve even though she was her favorite daughter, then we really don't know how far she could have gone with Bella, who she saw as the less perfect daughter. Actually, we do know how far she went with Bella because in the same Vogue interview, Bella admitted to have gotten a nose job when she was only 14 years old. She admitted to having some regrets over the surgery, saying, I wish I had kept the nose of my ancestors. I think 
think I would have grown into it. Now, because Bella was only 14 when she got the procedure done, she would have needed to get permission from a parent because doctors typically don't perform plastic surgery on minors without parental consent. Yolanda received a lot of backlash after this interview, and people slammed her for being shallow enough to get Bella plastic surgery at that age. Someone said, I honestly feel so sad for Bella because she always talks about how growing up she always felt like the black sheep and an outsider in her family while also feeling bad about herself. And for Yolanda to basically confirm her thoughts by letting her get a nose job at 14 is so horrible. Another person said, Yolanda Hadid is literally going to the deepest pits of hell for making Bella think she was the ugly sister to the point where she got a nose job at 14 years old. And the fact that she's saying she regrets it now is so sad. Interestingly, a source close to Bella claimed that she knew the fallout that was going to follow her confession, but she decided to go ahead and reveal the truth because she was ready to start living her truth without being so heavily influenced by Yolanda. The source also claimed that Yolanda had no idea that Bella was going to expose her in the interview, or she would have made Bella skip that part entirely because of the negative publicity that she was going to get. And she did get so much negativity that even after this time, she still remains canceled in many people's books. Bella also opened up about how the constant accusations of surgery were messing with her and making her feel insecure. She said, People think I fully messed with my face because of one picture of me as a teenager looking puffy. I've had this imposter syndrome where people make me feel like I didn't deserve any of this. People always have something to say, but what I have to say is I've always been misunderstood in my industry and by the people around me. And speaking of being misunderstood by the people around her, there's the issue of the leaked email that Yolanda sent to Bella when she was 17. The backstory to this is that Bella had been arrested for a DUI and had gotten her car impounded. Yolanda picked up the car from the pound and she was so angry that she sent Bella an email that was leaked. In the email, she said, who are you? What were you thinking? You've literally turned into a spoiled, unthankful, unthoughtful, careless human being that is lucky to be alive. Why, Bella? What have I done to deserve this? I'm so freaked out. How are you going to survive? Why am I even working myself off to get you a beautiful apartment if you can't even keep your car clean? Is that how you're going to trash your home? She continued, if your car looks like the way you feel about yourself, you really need professional help. Do you want Anwar to take the same chances that you have taken? Would you want your little brother to drive around with a car like you left behind? Are you an example of the life you want him to live? I cleaned your car and destroyed all the evidence of the chaos you created that I'm ashamed of and truly hope to never see again. Life in my home has changed forever. Poor Anwar, his life is gonna be miserable. While a DUI is a very serious issue and shouldn't be treated lightly, people were quick to point out that Yolanda was angry because Bella's car was messy and not because of the DUI. And then she tried to make it all about her and Bella's younger brother, Anwar. Going by what Yolanda said in the email, Bella was not in the best place with her mental health and Yolanda still threw it in her face. So it's really no surprise that Bella is finally deciding to choose her peace, even if it means going against Yolanda. A source revealed that Bella still loves Yolanda and always will, but she simply does not trust Yolanda to make the best decision for her anymore. The source claimed that Bella has matured a lot in the past couple of months and is finally ready to take control of her own life and away from Yolanda. She has the support of her fans about this because people have been calling Yolanda out for being toxic for years and saying things like, Yolanda is toxic even to her own daughter. She bullied Bella and always compared her to her sister Gigi. Bella hates Yolanda. From regretting the nose job to her love of Palestinian heritage, it's clear Bella as an adult is realizing how much Yolanda took from her. And Bella Hadid is itching to call out her mother's toxic parenting. Yolanda Hadid Hadid is unbelievably toxic. So is Gigi going to follow in Bella's footsteps or does she love being the favorite a little too much? We can't say for now, but go ahead and check out this next video.